Hi guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia here to talk to you about basic insect anatomy. But before we get into insects, let's talk about how we get there. This is a picture of all kinds of life on Earth. There are six basic classifications that separate all plants and animals in the world. Think of each of these classifications as filters that narrow down your search. This starts with Kingdom Animalia. This includes all animals. Yes, including insects. Phylum Arthropoda. This includes insects along with millipedes, centipedes, spiders, scorpions, and ocean creatures with exoskeletons. All arthropods have an exoskeleton that they molt out of to grow. Class Hexapoda. These are the insects. All of them have six legs, three body parts, and one pair of antenna. There are four more classifications that narrow it down past insects until you get to one species. These are order, family, genus, and species. It is time to build our insect. We mentioned that all insects have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. On the head, we will be talking about mostly sensory organs. Insects have compound eyes that have many small lenses. These eyes are used for both color and movement. They also have ocelli. These are individual lenses and are mostly used for light sensing. Having a hard time remembering ocelli? Think of this story. This person illegally imported butterflies into the United States and is now serving hard time for his crimes. He has a barred window that looks outside at a cement wall, but he can still see the light from the sun and the darkness of night. His cell eye can only see light. This cell window is equivalent to the ocelli. There are many kinds of mouthparts because the insects have a variety of diets. They can have chewing mouthparts, like in beetles and caterpillars, straws, like in butterflies and moths, or sponges, like in flies. Our insect is getting a chewing mouth part. Also on the head, we have antenna that insects can use for smelling, tasting, touching, and hearing the world around them. This makes antenna a very important tool for insects. Let's move on to the thorax. The thorax is all about movement. All six legs are on the thorax along with either one or two pairs of wings. Insects also have different adaptations to their wings. Beetles will have a hardened first pair of wings that are used as a shell instead of used for flying. These are called elytra. Grasshoppers and cockroaches also have a modified first pair of wings. Their first pair of wings are leathery in feeling and are opaque. These are called tegmina. Dragonflies and bees have membranous wings that are very thin, transparent, and you can see the wing veins. Of the wing adaptations that we are talking about today, the flies have the most peculiar wing adaptation. They are the only ones that have a single pair of wings. Their second pair have adapted into appendages that help them balance and manipulate their flight. These appendages are called halteers. Our insect has membranous wings. There aren't very many things attached to the outside of the abdomen because most of the exciting things are happening inside of it. The respiratory system, digestive tract, and the reproductive organs are all in the abdomen. Insects are really interesting in the fact that they actually breathe through window-like holes in their abdomen called spiracles. I believe in spiracles On the sides of books That's where they breathe I believe in spiracles on the sides of books, that's where they breathe. These appendages are the insect cerci. They are for predator evasion and detection. They can appear to be insect antenna to an unsuspecting predator. Female insects will lay eggs out of their abdomen, but sometimes they need a special egg laying device. For example, if they need to lay their eggs into wood. This egg laying device is called an ovipositor. 
These are some examples of body parts that we have talked about in this presentation. Thank you for listening! In the comment section below, let us know what your favorite insect is. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I will be posting videos frequently. Come back soon to check out our next epic insect tale.